All right, so the first thing you want to do is list out your squares and cubes. So up here by your name, write squares and cubes. And if you know them, great. Just list them out. If you don't, I'm going to show you how to get them from the calculator. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. I want you all to just look. You don't know them. This is how you can get them. You can start with one if you want, but one is just one. It doesn't help you, so I'd probably forget that. Two squared. Do you see how I did that? And that's four. Write four next to squares. Do you see that? Two squared. Then I'm going to go back and look. I'm going to make it three squared. Do you see that? Nine. And then I'm going to go back and make it four squared. Do you see what I'm doing? You can generate that list. That one's 16. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing and we'll write them out. But do you understand how you can make the calculator give them to you? Just type in 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared. 6 squared is 36. 49. 7 squared is 49. And again, if you know them, that's cool. 8 squared is 64. 9 squared is 81. 10 squared is 100. They go on infinitely. I mean, numbers are infinite, but that's... Yeah, good. And and but that's usually far enough. All right. Now I'm going to share the screen again. Just watch. You can do the same thing to get the cubes. Two cubed. Do you see how that's eight? And then I can just go back and make it three cubed is 27. And four cubed is 64. Like you can make the calculator give them to you. All right. No, I just said I'm not doing that. You messed me up. All right. So eight. 27, 64, 125, 216. I don't think you'll really need to go any further than that. I'll write 343 just in case, but those numbers get big really quick. Uh, but you can just type two cubed, three cubed, four cubed, five cubed, six cubed, et cetera, and the calculator will give them to you, all right? You guys have done really well with this. I'm expecting these quizzes to be good, okay? Draw two little houses. I'll make the table for us. I was trying to not have that happen today. All right, so I'm going to type, type 108 divided by X. Make the table. Don't everybody shout. I want everyone to have a chance to try and find it. You're looking for a square that's on that list, a perfect square, because it's a square root. That was a good wait time. Now, if you want to say, like, just give everyone a few seconds. What is it? Uh, 16 is not on there. 27 is not a perfect square. There we go. 36. It's probably just a little small for you. All right. 36. And what's next to that? Three. You can't see it. It's fine. All right. So 36 and three. So I'm going to scratch this one off. What is your square root of 36? It's six. Square root of three. If you didn't know that, you could type square root of six in the calculator. Okay. For number two, draw yourself two little houses, but they have to be cube roots. So put that little three out front. I have to say, you guys have done awesome with that. I haven't had to like really pressure anybody about putting that little three on there. Usually people forget to write that. All right, so I'm going to type 384 divided by X, get my table. Now you're looking at the cubes list because it is a cube root. Give everyone a few seconds to look. You want a number from the cubes list. Does anyone see it? 60. Good, 64, please stop listening. And what's next to that is six. If you can't see it because you're in the back, when you're taking your quiz, you'll be able to see it on your own computer. 64 and six, and then cube root of 64 is four. If you don't know that, you can type in cube root. Do you remember the shortcut to type cube root? CBRT. If you don't want to remember that, if you go into the functions menu and like scroll all the way down, it's in there. Okay. This one has a number and a variable. So let's do the number first 80. I'm going to share my screen and make the table. It never gets rid of it on the first try. That's so frustrating. All right. 80 divided by X, make the table. As a heads up, four works for this one, but there's a bigger one and you always want the largest one possible. So do you see 16 on there, guys? 16 and five. 
you see the same numbers over and over again because, I mean, they're the perfect squares, right? Draw two more houses because seven is not an even number. How would you split up X seven? Good, X to the six. And you all said X, that makes me so happy. Sometimes people just put a six there and it's like, well, you forgot the variable. All right, then scratch them off. What's the square root of 16? That's four, but if you didn't know that, you could type it in. And then for this one, six divided by two is three. And the reason I keep coaching you to scratch them off is then at the end, it should be real obvious which ones you didn't scratch off is five X. Let's try that again. This isn't a long quiz. I have eight, nine questions on here. It's not very long. All right, 50. I feel like we might be able to do that one without making a table. Do you know a number that'll go into 50? Good, 25 times two. Not that you couldn't use a calculator, but that one just wasn't too bad. Is five an even number? No. So you'll split it x to the fourth and then x. And then is eight an even number? Yes. So just leave that one alone. Like just leave it y to the eighth. Like if it's fine, don't change it. <laughs> now that is kind of a longer list. That's why I keep coaching you to check them off. Everybody look, don't stop listening to me. Square root of 25 is five. This is the next one that's gonna work. What is this one reduced to? Get X squared and then have a, good, it's Y to the fourth. And then what did we not scratch off? Two X, good. If you scratch them off, it'll be real obvious at the end which ones are left. Do you see how this one's a cube root? 27 is one of the cubes. So you don't have to split this. This is a gimme question. And I'll tell you, last year it was the most commonly missed question, which really frustrated me. The cube root of negative 27 is negative three. That's just the answer. When we were playing that game just now, do you remember how I held up square root of 25 and the answer is just five and you guys all fell apart? Like don't fall apart on the easy ones. Like that's just the answer, that's it, okay? Draw two little houses. This one I'm going to need a table for. I don't know all the numbers that go into 252. So. Nope. Guessing is a good idea, though, because estimating is, you know, an important skill to have. All right, I see it on there. Um, look through. You need a number from your squares list because it's a square root. That's an 84, so that is not uh, on either list, but we want specifically a square, perfect square. Good, do you see 36 there, guys? It's 36 times seven. And what is your square root of 36? Six, so it's six square root of seven. Oh, this is going well, I like it. All right, flip over. Now this is identify each, so there could be more than one, that is in simplest form. What that means is you can't simplify it any further. All you need to look at is what's underneath the root. So look, this one, you can get rid of that X. This one, you can get rid of that nine. And this one, you can get rid of that five X cubed. You're only looking at the part underneath the root. There are two of them, I'll go ahead and tell you that you can't simplify any further. So what's under there, you can't do any more. Does anyone think they know one of them? Like it's as simple as it gets, go ahead. Yeah, just X, that's as simple as it gets. You cannot break that apart any further. And there's one more, good. You can't break apart six Y any further. This one, hopefully I can say, obviously you could split that up. And the reason 32 is you could draw your two houses and you know figure out a number that goes into 32. Like you could keep going there. So we don't want either of these. Do you understand what that question is asking? Like as simple as it gets, you can't break it down anymore. All right, and then two more. Draw two little houses. I'm gonna see if we could do this one without the calculator. Look at your cubes list. Go back to where we wrote it. One of those goes into 250. I'm just going to throw it out there and see if you can do it. Good, nice. Good. You guys have good number sense. That's why I figured I'd just ask you. It's 125 times two. 
If you didn't know that, make a table. That's totally fine. I just wanted to see. I was throwing the question out there to see what I'd get. And then the cube root of 125 is 5. You could do CBRT in your calculator. Cube root of 2. Do you see how much faster the problem goes without the calculator, though? Because all the button pushing takes a lot of time. So you actually get a quicker answer if you don't reach for it. All right, and then last one. I need numbers that multiply to be 40. One of them's got to be a perfect square. 16 won't go into 40. Four, good. Four times 10. Is seven an even number? No. So I'll split it x to the sixth and just x. Is four an even number? Yes. So leave it alone. And then check off your list. So what's one that's going to work? Good. This will be two. This is the next one that's going to work. What will this reduce to? x cubed, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then what's the last one that's going to work? Good. That'll be y squared. And then whatever you didn't check off stays under there. So check off your list, because then it'll be really apparent at the end, like, what's left over. 